Um, now this first stage is uh, completed. Uh, now we start the lightning round where each judge is given one minute uh, to pose questions to any contestant. And uh, I'll give, I'm gonna ask the contestants to turn on your cameras just so we can see everyone again. And I think I'll give you about 20 to the judges about 30 seconds more to compose their thoughts. And I will go in reverse order of introduction. Uh, so judges, I will go in this order. Anna, Luis, Santiago, Eri, and Ga. And um, um, we'll go with, like Anna, if you're ready, we can go with you first. And um, yeah. Okay, uh, good afternoon from my part. Uh, thank you very much to all of you who pitched your ideas. Um, I made some careful notes. Uh, I took, took uh, everyone into consideration and I, I kind of pointed, gave, gave points on the basis of, of clarity and then common interest, basically from my own part, because I, I uh, of course, I'm here in a personal capacity, so not representing Finland or representing even uh, EU or any for, uh, official format. So, but I really liked all of, all of these pictures, but most, I think, um, pictures uh, one and two, I think, were very feasible, I think. And um, basically, you know, to have an equal basis for... Right, Anna, to for, um, I think there's, there's a sound, is there a sound, or people experiencing some, some sound issues? So maybe... Oh, sorry, test... I don't, don't, don't know what... Uh... Uh, yeah, is that better now, Anna? Like, can, could you please? Uh, sorry, I, I I have I don't know I don't know. It's it's sometimes I have problems with the with the Zoom. So um, yeah, you know I think we all but, it's but, good uh, now. Yeah, much better. Yeah, so so Zoom is somehow you know I I already today had to change platforms once because of two Zoom. So sorry about that. Anyway, so they, yeah, so of course, uh, first uh, pitch was, uh, uh, from my point of view, perfect, because I really believe that it's, um, you know, that would be from my own perspective, the first thing to do to, to put uh, disabled uh, people on the same level uh, with each other, of course. Um, and then the, the issue about transparency in, in the in the copyright system, I think it's a very, very uh, good point. And only, only here, uh, I would like to just kind of ask uh, what uh, way this introduction would happen. I mean, what, what kind of way would you see this happen in the SCCR because of the nature of, of being a, a normative agenda? So normally, the the, the work there. Um, but but otherwise, I think. Um, all of you scored really well, and and I hope, of course, um, and yeah, that's maybe maybe I took the minute already. Don't know. Come don't back worry. later. The sound issue was uh, part of it, so don't worry. With there, uh, now uh, we turn to Louise. Can you please unmute yourself? And we love to hear your thoughts. Well, uh, well, first of all, thank you to, to all uh, those pictures who, who brought these uh, great ideas. I, I agree with them all. So uh, that, that's to start. Uh, maybe we'll, uh, we should start asking for a, an additional SCR. Uh, on, on, on terms of, of what I think it is more feasible and easier to, to achieve, uh, I agree with the, the previous judge that is the disabilities is, is a low hanging fruit and uh, it, it should be a no brainer that uh, the SCR should continue and, and finalize the, uh, the, the the inclusion of all the person with disabilities. So I think that is, is excellent. And also I, I, I agree with the, 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 the transparency uh, proposal from uh, uh, James, uh, which it, it is very similar to the Brazilian proposal on, that was put forward you know, a, a couple of years ago to see how did the, the copyright system work with relation with the 
the you know, the authors and, and and relation with platforms and so forth. So so I I see this will complement and uh, looking uh, into uh, uh, more detailed uh, specific uh, points. So the, the question to, to to James, you know, on transparency. Uh, Will uh, uh, this proposal uh, refer only to functional copyright or also to normative copyright? Because we know that is a huge issue on transparency and how loving uh, process uh, works with regard to norm setting. Uh, and, uh, and 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 finally, uh, uh, how many seconds I have? Um, Ten more seconds. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, and, 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 and also, I think that this is, is, is very uh, compelling, the, the, the proposal of Jonathan, in, in the sense that uh, because we don't have normative work in the short term, we, we should uh, have you know, a guidance to wipe out to, to, to prepare the, the model provision, and, but not only limited to, you know, to, to what Jonathan is, is proposing, uh, preservation, but it, we, they should work on, on the key uh, uh, issues being discussed in the WIPO exceptions agenda and uh, other topics. And I stop there uh, not to... Thank, uh, thank you, Luis. Uh, and now we would go to Santiago, uh, if when you uh, can please unmute. Thank you, Santiago. Okay, okay. thank you, Thiro. Thank you for all for the pitches. Uh, was, uh, this, uh, this exercise is very exciting for me because uh, all the ideas uh, are very good. Uh, yeah. uh, so uh, I have uh, some notes uh, around uh, three uh, pitches. Uh, the first one is the, the uh, around the crossing boarding, uh, cross, cross boarding around the uh, inspired in the Marrakesh dispositions around the uh, uh, limitation and exceptions uh, for education was very interesting for me. And uh, another one is the uh, uh, model preservation uh, uh, provision around the preservation from uh, uh, the topics around uh, cultural things it was very interesting. And the, and the last one, uh, it's around the transparency. Uh, I, am, I am agree with, the, with the Luis because uh, this uh, proposal is uh, very similar to the uh, Brazilian proposal uh, around the digital market and the platforms and the copyrights on the this uh, kind of uh, of uh, this uh, use of the copyright uh, uh, works and uh, was very interesting. So uh, only one more thing around the uh, uh, Teresa Hackett proposal around the uh, ebook market because uh, this is a problem uh, in this moment for uh, a lot uh, a lot of countries for example uh, for ecuador this uh, kind of uh, uh, limitation around the market because uh, in ecuador we don't have uh, a lot of uh, options around uh, to access to the uh, works uh, for example, scientific works specific. So uh, this is uh, my point of view, my, my first point of view around all the pitches. Uh, no more, thank you, Theo. Thank you, Santiago. Uh, now we'll turn to Eri. Um, please unmute yourself and uh, we'd like to hear your observations. Indeed. Yes, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, perfectly. Okay. Uh, good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. I don't know what, what time zone you are in. So thank you very much. Um, I'm, I'm very happy and I really love all the pictures. And just like Anna, I want to make a disclaimer that I'm not representing Indonesia's position here. But I, I take all notes and I have, uh, I, I, can, I can go very fast now for the first pitch. I think it's, it's the lowest chance of resistance. So I give it that because it, it will be very hard for countries to actually disagree that all disabled people should actually on the same level and have the same rights. And the second pitch is, is, is the second pitch is very interesting, but I have the same concerns with the other, uh, especially Anna, how are we going to fit in this agenda within a CCR mandate? Do you think it will be doable? How, how, much is the how, much, how much of resistance will be present? The third pitch is actually the strongest in making case point 
uh, but uh, I, I would like I would love to ask more question with regard to uh, the the real proposal. How do you actually want to move forward with the supranational instrument? Which which part of the supranational instrument? What the supranational instrument will actually take care of? The fourth pitch for me, it's the most moving. You should definitely use this for your statement. If you have more than one minute in a CCR, you should ask for more time to deliver statement in a CCR. And the fifth pitch is actually the coolest one or the most innovative one. I actually think like, why don't we just do the, this kind of liberation? But I actually have a very important question here. Why copyright and COVID? Why don't you make it more general? Because copyright and COVID might be expiring very soon or in two or five or, or 10 years. Maybe an, another kind of another title for the declaration would be better. Because if you take into account the time we need to negotiate something in a CCR, by the time we agree, COVID might not be existent anymore. And the sixth, con uh, the sixth pitch for me is the most realistic one. It's very narrow. It's also touch upon an issue that will be very hard for countries to object, which is preservation on cultural heritage. And it's very realistic that what, what being proposed is model provisions. I think, I think it will, it, uh, there is a chance if you really fight, if some countries really fight for this, uh, then consensus might, 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 might be achieved in the SCCR. On the seventh page, uh, I put it as, I guess this is, this is also the most interesting one because it talks about digital. My question would be, how would you relate it to the other uh, agenda in the SCCR right now about copyright and the digital environment? How would you put ENL within that discussion? Do you, do you think it would be best to actually move that discussion into the ENL uh, agenda? And on the eight contestant, uh, eight page, I uh, actually just have one question. Uh, the proposal is to move on tax space, but what kind of tax that, that, that you perceive should be, uh, should, should we focus on in the SCCR? Thank you very much. I'm sorry because I only have one minute. I think I passed the time. <laughs> yeah, but that was actually a very comprehensive iteration of every proposal. And now uh, 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 our, to our fifth or first, uh, depending on how you look at it, Dragon, Madam Inka, uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts as well. Okay, thank you very much for having me here. And I would also want to put up a disclaimer to say that I am here in my personal capacity and not representing either my office or my country. And uh, I would want to say that I found the pitches quite interesting from all the, the, the contestants. Uh, they raise very uh, pertinent issues that are applied to the agenda of the SCCR at the current moment. And I would want to, because of time, uh, just zero into the issues that I, I, I picked up uh, after appreciating everyone's contribution in this piece. And to indicate that um, on the issue of transparency, I think it's quite an interesting proposal, but I think it will be helpful to help us appreciate how that can really come into the work of the SCCR beyond a mere discussion or a mere uh, research or findings of what is existing there, linking it to the copyright system itself. And then uh, on the issue proposed by Teresa Hackett on the, uh, trying to come up with um, policies or a system that deals with the anti-competitive um, nature or tendencies in the e-book market to say, Beyond, beyond the copyright system, because as SCCR, most of the time, our, our role is to focus more on the copyright system itself. To say now, if we are taking this beyond copyright, now taking it to the market, how do we see the link between now the market, what happens in the, in the market and what happens in the copyright system? And I would like to summarize by saying that uh, the pictures that I found uh, very intriguing for me, given the copyright, the, the COVID-19, situation that we are in and the fact that the SCCR has limitations in terms of time and even in terms of uh, how much uh, time and interaction we have with each other. I, and we don't know how long this uh, situation is going to be with us. I thought that the low hanging fruit is what, what, what we need. And I thought that um, the model law proposal by Jonathan will help us maybe to achieve um, results uh, in the short time or while we are dealing with this situation. And I also found um, the proposal by Sean on the on, on us sitting back and, and interrogating our copyright system and say what is it that works for us or that no longer serves us this at this point point in time. Do we still need to talk about limit the copyright system to face-to-face -face teaching or we need to review that? I thought it was quite interesting for us to look at how we can bring the Doha declaration into the copyright system and and bring it uh, to a time where it's relevant for us. So I thought those were quite interesting. But above everything else, I would like to Congratulate and thank the contestants for, for the pitches that they submitted. 
Thank you.